What's up guys, Dark Dally here. I'm back at my runway doing some more rifle testing. I figure it's time to test another one of these rifles. Now I've been doing bullet drop, and if you've seen the previous videos, then I've been, you know I've been testing the bullet drop on this wall from 350 meters. And I think it's a pretty accurate way to do it. And if you haven't seen the videos, they're in this same playlist. Um, you can look back there also. I'll link the original one from this one in the description and on the screen at the end. So last time we did the L115A3, and uh, because it dropped so low, I wanted to see what we could do to improve its bullet drop. And, you know, all we were able to do was add a long barrel. It doesn't have a lot of attachments, but it was able to improve quite a bit. We also found some anomalies with some of these scopes. Some of the scopes work differently with different weapons. And so I want to get that out of the way first. Since we're testing with the Dragon off here today, this is the rifle we're testing today. I want to go ahead and go through some of the scopes and see what's inaccurate with it because not all the scopes are zeroed right for all the weapons. Of course, we know that the different scopes look different. You know, for instance, the T5XI, as far as I can tell, is centered on all the weapons, but they all have different zoom levels with it. But some rifles are not centered with certain scopes. Now, here's one I already know. I'm gonna try this one first. Of course, we have the G28 scope, and uh, I've heard that it's zeroed perfectly with the G28, which is one I didn't try, and we'll get to that. But today we're doing the Dragon Off with the G28 scope. Let's go ahead and go through some of these scopes because I already know this Dragon Off is not zeroed, I guess you could say, with some of them properly. All right, and it appears to be just fire a couple shots. Yeah, I see the G28 scope on this rifle as well, the Dragon Off. Centers above the crosshair. Now, at this range, it doesn't appear to make much difference. Yeah, see, it is. But at range, it makes a huge difference. Let's go ahead and try a different scope. I want to show you what I'm going to be talking about because I already know that there's some that it does not work with. And unfortunately, this is a huge unfortunate thing. One of those is the Russian scope, the PKS-07. Unfortunately, it does not work with the Dragon Off. And if you didn't know why, let me go ahead and show you now. With the PKS-07, the Dragon Off actually shoots a couple inches off to the right. Let's get closer. I think this one we can actually get closer and see it pretty well. Yeah, see? And then at distance, it becomes very apparent at distance. See that? Now that's unfortunate because this is the Russian sniper scope and this is, you know, the Russian sniper rifle, you know? This is what the Russian military uses, it's the Dragon Off SVD. And unfortunately, it doesn't work with this rifle. It's very, very unfortunate. Let's try some of the other scopes and see. Let's go ahead and check because I've been realizing different people like to use different scopes. So first I want to make sure all these scopes are zeroed with this rifle. So let's check the, this is the Chinese one, the PSOP, or did I say that wrong? I'm not sure. Let's check this one. Let's get a general feel. Yeah, see, this one, it looks like it's shooting off to the right as well, actually. It's really a shame that this happens. Let's see if we can get a better reading on that. Yeah, definitely. You can't use the Chinese sight with the Dragon Off either. See, look at that. Now you can. You Sure, you can adjust for that, but who wants to try to adjust for that? That's really, really unfortunate. It shoots the same with the scope. the POSP. Okay, so it's not zeroed with any of these first three scopes, unfortunately. Boy, it's just it's just a shame. I'm not sure how many people use the ACOG with a sniper rifle, but let's go ahead and try it out. Now this scope has something weird in that it has a secondary function which does nothing. Whoops. Okay, apparently that's just with assault rifles. Okay, with assault rifles, as you know, you can push right on the D-pad, at least on PlayStation, and it will go as if it has two different zoom levels, but not really do anything. It's very odd. Okay, I guess that's just on assault rifles. This appears to be dead on, at least at this range. Let's move back some. I just want to check this out before I go testing a rifle, because I don't want to test a rifle again, only to realize the scope is not zeroed for it. I'll be honest, it's not dead on. You can see it's a little off to the right. Not as much as the POSP and not near as much as the PKS-07, but as you can see, as I go back further, 
Uh, it, this is probably all right. This is this is okay. Just I wouldn't recommend using this with this weapon for super precise shots because it, it's kind of looking like it's not exactly dead center as every one of those was just slightly off to the same direction. Let's try out the Taurus 101 because uh, I know some people like to use this one. It sucks I have to do this with the rifles, but there you go. I mean, this looks okay. This looks uh, this looks decent. This is this is good. Let's move forward a little bit. It's getting kind of dark out here. Why is this rifle just seems to shoot off to the right? It's really a shame. The dragon off in general just likes to shoot off to the right. Okay, we're at five times. Uh, we're at uh, five five point five times. Sorry, let's switch to. Uh, it's not going to matter if anything. This is more helpful to us. It clearly shoots a hair off to the right. I don't think this is any big deal because it's still on the crosshair. But keep that in mind if you're trying to shoot something at super long distance, you know, like a kilometer or something like that. That can matter. You know, so uh, keep that in mind. But it looks like this is zeroed enough with the TARS and the T5XI. It's, it's zeroed enough. This should be fine. Boy, these guys just keep coming. Why am I marking them? You guys keep... That's the second one to come out on the runway. They've never come out on the runway before. That's just weird. I've never seen that happen. Okay, and uh, I had to leave and come back because it was starting to get dark. So we should have some daylight now. And I also realized why the guy was coming out on the runway because... <laughs> I beat the game with this character, and uh, I recently started over, which is what I wanted to do, and then realized that uh, when I did start over, I chose to put it on extreme difficulty. So that's why I have the guys coming out onto the runway. I, I totally forgot I even put it on extreme. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess we'll be using a, a suppressor to stop the, the stream of guys coming out to see what the noise is. We already know a suppressor does not affect bullet drop. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that on my dragon off. And let's make sure it's stock otherwise. Let's go ahead to parts, reset parts. Yes. And we're going to do, I'm going to continue do the, doing the testing with the T5XI. We know it's zeroed with all the rifles. We know that it works fine and everything like that. And it also has the most zoom, whatever that matters. Let's go ahead and throw the suppressor on maybe this way. They'll leave us alone. I wanted to do a harder difficulty for my next playthrough. I tried advanced and I really didn't see any difference between that and normal, at least not in the short you know, time I used it. So I went to extreme and uh, it's very interesting because I can't see, I'm so used to seeing the red blobs on my map, it's very interesting not being able to see that. You gotta be very careful. So let's, uh, well let's go ahead and take a, a, now that we're completely stock, let's go ahead and take kind of a sighting shot and make sure we know where the bullet drop is at on this and I'll compare it to where I have it marked on my chart. And uh, the bull drop is always consistent, so it's going to be in the same spot. Let's go ahead and have a look at that. All right, looks like uh, that's at the fourth row of bricks. Wait, one, two, that's the third row. That's the bottom of the third row. That's lower than I remember. Nope, that's exactly where it hit. Right, It hit right above the L115, right on that third row of bricks, right there where it hit right on the bottom of the brick. That's correct. That's, that's what we have marked as its normal bullet drop. I'll go ahead and pop that image up on screen right now with the results of all the rifles. Now this was stock of course and what we're going to be doing today is is improving that and see what we can do with it. I also like I already did I wanted to see which scopes it didn't work with so you know yeah definitely keep an eye out for those scopes. Okay so we know that a longer barrel will improve the bullet drop or you know will reduce the bullet drop of a rifle but since the Dragon Off only comes with the standard and a short let's see what the short barrel does. Let's see if we get more. I mean, probably, but that's the point of this, right? It's verify everything. There's a lot of false information out there. I still have people commenting on these videos saying that all the bullet drop is the same. <laughs> Which is funny because it's like, you know, clearly if you watch the videos, you'll see they're not. There's a lot of incorrect information out there. The people take for granted. It's not necessarily their fault. It's, it's people spreading it. Let's go ahead and try this short barrel just to see what happens. That hit much lower. Let's go ahead and recon this and see. Now, one thing I want to answer, because I've been getting this question a lot, is why do I do this test alone? Why am I running down the runway? Well, I have started using the drone. Why am I doing it alone? Why don't I have someone here helping me? Because I have done some testing with someone helping me, and uh, if he's watching this, then he will confirm that bullet holes can appear different to different players. He and I were out in Kiwani, just target shooting at one kilometer, 
and when we ran up we both saw different bullet holes and there was much confusion until we traded screenshots and saw that the bullet holes we were looking at were completely different <laughs> after after yeah a decent amount of trying to figure out what was going on so when you're playing with someone else there's no guarantee that bullet holes are going to be the same and if the same bullet holes weren't even appearing on his screen as they were on mine then who's to say that these are right at all so i can't trust having another person here to test Okay, it actually looks like... See, I'm glad it came up here. That's not a bullet hole. It actually hit... It didn't even hit the wall. Now, from my experience, adding a long barrel will move... With all the rifles I've done so far, a long barrel will move this up two bricks. Would move this up to here if this had a longer barrel option. So that tells me that it probably hit just right here, right in the dirt. It's probably the same increment of adjustment. Okay, and we are back at 350. I had to replace my mark. So these shots might not line up laterally, but the mark is at this same height that it was previously it's simply place at the top of the wall so real easy to place to place a mark let me show you you just go to the top of the wall and place it and as you can see it makes the mark set right directly on top of the wall so the mark is still in the same place it's just been moved over a little bit let's go ahead and uh since we can't add a longer barrel that means the only thing we're going to be able to do to improve the bullet drop of this rifle is probably add a range finder so let's go ahead and throw that on uh, I'm actually going to fire a few shots we know the grouping is tight there we go I want to get a more accurate reading the reason I only fire one shot is the bullet drop is one thing I found across rifles which is just always super super consistent let's see where we're hitting now where we were hitting with without the range finder was right here at the bottom of this brick on the third row now you can see the rangefinder has moved us up one brick the rangefinder has moved us up almost exactly one brick that highest shot was the one that was most centered in the crosshair and you can see it's so we'll compare this on the graphic let's go ahead and do that visually it's better than looking at this muddy picture here so here on this graphic you can see how much the rangefinder improved the bullet drop of the Dragon Off SVD. Let's see if there's possibly anything we'll, else that we can do. Let's see exactly what some of these parts do. Let's let's burn through these real attachments. Let's see if the laser sight does anything. Okay, now I have restarted the game so it can be daylight again because it was it was starting to get nighttime. I this time I actually closed the app all the way out and came back. So now, as you can see, it's nine in the morning. So now we got some more time to play with. I reset the mark exactly where it was. The other bonus is now the bullet holes are gone. So we have this laser sight on the Dragon Off. Let's get rid of my guys here. Let's take a shot. We already know where it hits stock. We know exactly. It hits right at the bottom of the brick on the third row. So let's see where it hits with this laser sight. I'm going to make sure that all my shots are precise. Of course, that's the wrong weapon. That was my ACR. There we go. And there we go. And I want to do this, I want to make sure, because it looked like with a laser sight, it hit a little higher than stock. No, it's the same. I must have had a high shot in there. That's exactly the same, right at the bottom of that brick. Always good to confirm that kind of stuff. I'm just going to fire one shot at a time so I don't end up filling that wall with bullet holes that, you know, that we can't tell apart. T5XI scope. Oh, it's on the left side. Yep, there's the laser sight. Okay. Let's go ahead and just for the sake of being thorough, let's try the three dot. So the only thing that's going to make a difference, you know, people say it, but you got to confirm this because people aren't always right, but it's true. You know, it's pretty much, I think it is just the barrel and just the rangefinder that affect your bullet drop. Let's see if the buttstock could possibly have any effect on this. I mean, it wouldn't make sense if it did. I can't imagine that it does, but that's what we're doing here. Let's let's try and find out. It probably right through one of the previous bullet holes. I see no difference at all. All right, so with the Dragon Off, sadly, it hit pretty low. And sadly, we can only improve its bullet drop just by that one space. Let me go ahead and put that back up on screen now. It moves it up right about to where the MSR is on the overall graphic I showed earlier. So there's other mods we could put on this, but I don't want to waste your time with a half an hour video. We'll have to delve into other 
things at other times. For now, I just want to make sure we know which scopes to use and to not use with different rifles and how we can affect the bullet drop on those rifles. That said, with the Dragonoff, the only thing that we can do is put on a rangefinder and that buys us one more brick up. One last thing I want to do, let's take the suppressor off and just ensure that it has no part in this. Okay, so the compensator had no effect. We put the rangefinder back on, we put a compensator on, and it's still hitting exactly where it was. Let's go ahead and make it stock and we'll see that it's still hitting in the exact same place. So just keep in mind, you don't want to use the Russian or the Chinese scope with this or the G28. Kind of limits you as far as sniper scopes go to the TARS or the T5XI. It's kind of where you're limited to with the Dragon Off. That's really, really unfortunate. I wanted to do a cool Russian themed character build using the Dragon Off with the Russian scope, but it just ain't gonna happen. And yeah, we're still hitting, and we're hitting like through the same bullet hole right there. How close can I get? It's as close as I can get, but you can see there's a bullet hole right there, and we're, we're just like threading the needle right through that same bullet hole. That right there, the bottom of the fourth row of bricks, because it's that's the third row, second row, and there's another row down here below the grass. That's where we're hitting. That's right where the MSR was hitting stock. Let's go ahead and put on screen now because I want to do a cumulative thing as I upgrade these rifles. So let's put on screen, since we're doing modified bullet drop, let's put on screen the modified bullet drop of the L115 and the Dragon Off and where each of them came from stock. And you can, you can see here the improvement of the rifles. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to go through these rifles and test out exactly all the accuracies, inaccuracies, and, and things that you want to do and not do with these rifles. And here we have it. That's the best that you can improve the Dragonoff SVD for bullet drop and the best scopes you can use for accuracy and things you might want to look out for. Guys, again, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. And if you like the content that I post and why not subscribe and keep up to date with the stuff I do every day. Alright guys, it's been a real pleasure. My name is Dark Dally, and I will catch you all next time.